Covidians are going to jail and it's finally Friday. It's April 24th and this is your daily catch up. So Covidians are finally going to jail. No, it's not the lady who sneezed at Ion. No, not that lady who threw Thank You Shell out the window. It's not even those who have been fighting outside the bubble tea shops. It's the man who flouted stay home notice rules to go and get bakute. His defense was that he thought stay home notice started the following day. Like how? Why? So Bakude man will be serving a prison sentence of six weeks. This makes him the first person to go to jail in Singapore for COVID-19 related offense. This also makes him the first person to go to jail for drinking soup. And probably the first person to f up stay home notice on day zero. Yesterday, the Ministry of Health confirmed an additional 1,037 cases, bringing our total to 11,178. Now, I know most of you are thinking, wow, that's a fourth day in a row where we had 1,000 cases. But I just remind everyone that the government is actively testing workers who live in dormitories, so we're going to expect that number to be relatively high until all the dormitory testings have been completed. So on Wednesday morning, the new paper posted an article about COVID-19 and this was the headline. 50 children infected with COVID-19 here. And many people, understandably so, but many people took it to mean that 50 children got infected in KK Hospital. I understand the allure of clickbait, but come on lah, like who, who, who wrote this article? Thank you, Cheryl. Speaking of headlines, while reporting on Kim Jong-un's apparent health condition, CNN Indonesia used an image of the lead actor from K-drama Crash Landing on You. I mean, I know we all make mistakes, right? It happens, but this is, this is. They have since apologized and allow me to quote them. The news package was on the issues surrounding Kim Jong-un, la 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 la, which has no relation to the Captain Rhee character in the Korean drama series. They even address Captain Rhee in the apology. If you don't already know, today is the first day of fasting for our Muslim friends. And to my one particular Malay friend who pretends to fast and then pretends to break fast with your family again, my thoughts and prayers are with you, man. <laughs> In all seriousness though, to all our Muslim viewers, Ramadan Karim. In efforts to show appreciation and support for our frontliners and migrant workers, Mediacorp and friends are inviting you and your friends to sing along with Dick Lee and his friends. Basically, Singapore will be singing NDP favourite home and everyone will be invited to take to their balconies or windows to sing along. And this will be happening on Saturday, which is tomorrow if you lost track of your days, and it will be happening at 7.55pm. Lately, we've been seeing many cases of fights, arguments and losing of sanity. And frankly, it's not hard to see where everyone's coming from. For delivery riders waiting an hour for fast food, to service staff dealing with hundreds of angry customers at once, to parents dealing with their children 24-7. Perhaps we could all learn a thing or two from this bus uncle on how to put on a smile. Seriously though, can you imagine if everyone wore this mask? How to get angry? How to how to fight? What you say to me? Come on! Hey, you wanna come out? Come out! Get scared! Ah. 